Welcome to the Andy Show TV mini so This is our second episode. We are here at the desk. Everybody's here. Pat's here. He's right there. I am. Guys, this week we have two things we're going to do. One, we saw Beauty and the Beast and we're going to give you our opinions on it. Absolutely. Because I know that everybody likes other people's opinions on the internet. And we have a lot of opinions to give. We do. And then also... This week on the full-length episode on Patreon, which you can see by subscribing at www.theandyshow.tv. For as uh, little as $2 a month, right, you can true. join Patreon. You can. You can. You can join any Patreon account, yeah. but ours specifically. Yeah. If you go to that, you can subscribe. You can watch the show. We played a game this week called, uh, I don't know, Farts or something. It was a fart <laughs> yeah. game. Anyway, we're going to play a few minutes of the fart game uh, that Joe gas won. Gas out. Joe won gas out. On the full length episode, I'm mm -hmm. looking to get retribution here in the mini sode. That is it. That's what we've got this week. I look forward to that and nothing more on this week's Andy Show TV mini sode. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as promised, we are going to review the new film, Beauty and the Beast. Yes. Uh, Joe and I saw it and we want to tell you what we thought about it. First of all, I want to say yeah. that I thought that what they did uh, turning all of the um, pots and pans into living, talking things was really neat. You yeah, know, I think that that's something that I didn't necessarily anticipate. Um, one of the things I really liked is that they gave Mrs. Potts like a really clearly defined um, political, yeah, <laughs> uh, political uh, thought. Like she, you know, she she had she was constantly saying, "Oh, you know, I I support Trump." Yes. Oh, you know, I don't support. She was talking back and forth out of both sides of her mouth. Yep. Uh, about politics, and it was really the whole movie was about Mrs. Potts waffling on who she was going to vote for. Exactly. And, uh, flip flopper. She was a, yeah, she was a flip flopper. And, and I thought you that... You know, her son Chip was trying to give his... Right. You know, advice he was like he a could. millennial kind of liber libertarian. Mm, exactly. Uh, who, libertarian, you know, he was all about... Libertarian. Don't, you know, don't take away a, my schools or my guns. real know-it-all. I mean, there's really... The Beauty and the Beast... Belle is only on camera for about 15 minutes. Yeah. It's mostly... True. Most of the movie is Mrs. Potts just railing on stuff politically. Yeah, and candles. Lots yeah. of candles. Lots of candles and that. waffling. And Ron Perlman is in most of the movie, too, right. which as I didn't... As the Beast. As he the Beast. Was, People don't... They, talk, they say it's that guy from Downton Abbey, yeah. but the reality is that it's actually Ron Perlman. Exactly. And, and he's not even wearing... This stuff for 90% of the movie. Most yeah. of the movie, he's just Ron Perlman. He's like the Sons of Anarchy Ron Perlman. Yeah, with a cigar and everything. And I thought Carmen Electra was an interesting choice for Mrs. Potts. Sure, yeah. You know? And the fact that they didn't make her look like a pot at all. They, no. It was just Carmen, modern day Carmen yeah. Electra whose wearing... Name, whose character name was Mrs. Potts. Just a shirt that said... Uh, pots yeah. on, her, on her bus line, as you yeah, mentioned before. Exactly. I like the, the motorcycle chase. Yeah. Was well, everybody likes a motorcycle. Probably chase. my favorite part. Yeah. That was a they, crowd pleaser. Because yeah. they had those bikes from Tron. Because yeah. that was the Disney cross promoting. Exactly. You know, Tron yeah. And then when the axe, the guy with the axe was chasing Oh my God, the guy with the, the axe. Yeah. And he was singing that song, yeah. I am the on. axe. Look yeah. at my axe. And he sang it for yeah. like 15 minutes, which I thought was yeah. kind of weird that they had the song go on so long. But then yeah. we find out, oh, the axe guy, yeah. that's Gaston. Yeah. Right. And then he dies right away. I thought the product placement was a little heavy having him die from axe body spray. Yeah, I thought that was yeah. a little yeah. heavy. But I mean, look, if you've got it there, why not flaunt it? That's what I've always said. You've always said. Yeah, that. if you've yeah. got the axe there, why not flaunt it? You're, so you are an axeman, and they really slowed it down. Like in the third act, they slowed it down a lot when Joe Pesci gets his car stuck in the mud. Yeah, yeah. You're like, everything's about to happen, and then he gets stuck in the mud, and you're like, oh, this sucks. But then the conversation that they have about the breakfast from earlier was yeah, very right. profound yeah I and the fact that they only had soup for breakfast yeah. i thought was weird right. and then yeah. joe pesci kept saying which i thought was a little bit of crossing the line for a disney yeah. movie i've had better soup getting a blow job i thought i don't yeah. know what that meant but he kept yeah. saying it I but mean, he said it in again. a way that kids wouldn't you know it was like when, when yeah. they do the thing hey. where the parents will get the joke yeah. and the kids get yeah. they kids. think it's like, one i've joke. had better yeah. soup getting a blow job yeah, yeah and he kept looking at the camera i thought spike in the lens was an interesting exactly that was too i mean they had their hands put tied behind their back disney did because they, they were based, you know, everyone knows the story. So everyone does. And choose their spots to sort of reinvent the franchise. Yeah. Sure, yeah. Uh, look, if you're interested in seeing this movie, I will just say top three things. Yeah. Mrs. Potts' political affiliations that waffle back and forth. You're not going to uh, guess, like you couldn't guess how where she ended up. On, oh, right? no, no, no. You have no idea. Gaston, um, as the Tron legacy uh, axe man, yeah. getting killed by axe. Ron Perlman being in almost the entire movie. Yeah. And then the fourth thing that we haven't mentioned yet, but I think is one of the best parts, is that uh, the actual castle is is just like a, a mini putt, like golf course. Exactly. Uh, so it's a putt-putt course. Yeah. That's, um, that's kind of the big, honestly, that's the big reveal, is that they the camera pulls out. out 
and, and the it's whole, just, all of this yeah. stuff is happening inside of a mini uh, golf course. Yeah, putt putt. Yeah, mini putt. Yes, with the you. at the windmill and everything. It's like a, yeah. a Honey, I Shrunk the Kids type of exactly. Scenario. So look, guys, final reviews. I give it a like a salty seven. Okay, I'm gonna go four out of five. What do yeah. you got? Uh, I'm just going to give it a two. Yeah. Yeah. You know what, guys? We're going to start doing these movie reviews because we feel like we are film buffs and we can entertain you with our knowledge of film. Exactly. Um, please, go see Beauty and the Beast. And if you experience the same stuff as us, please write it in the comments. Let us know what you think of it. Um, so that is our movie review for the week. Beauty and the Beast. Two farts up. Ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who watch our Patreon show, you saw this week that we, uh, well, we did a whole game. What was the game? Uh, gas out. Gas out. The rules of this game are pretty simple. You draw a card, and the card dictates the number of times that you hit this little guy's face. He makes noises like this. And if he makes that noise, you don't have to lose. Exactly. And if he makes a fart noise, then you do lose. If he makes a fart noise and you lose, you get hit in the face with one dart from a Nerf gun at point-blank range. Yep. So, we are going to start. Are you ready? I am ready. Let's do it. Joe has three. I survived. Uh, safe. Mm. I have four. Nice. Well Survive. done. Pat has one. Uh, Joe has. <laughs> oh, there, there we go. go. That it was, was the first one. one. What do we do? Are you... This has never happened before, ladies and gentlemen. This is unprecedented. <laughs> I, I feel know. like you must get hit. You now. pushed it once when you dropped it. I think you lost. The table Joe. show. I think. I think you farted. I think you farted, Joe. You watch the Patreon show. <laughs> I was killing it. Ready? Oh. Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Now it's down to Pat and I. I'll go first. Okay. Uh, reverts Ooh. away, so it's your Back turn. Back to me. Yeah. Okay. Five Ooh. for Pat. Ah. Uh, survived. Reverts back to Pat. Oh, no. One. Ah. Uh, four. Fuck! Oh! oh! Damn it! Yeah! Damn it! Victory! I was supposed to be the fart champion! <laughs> this is bullshit! Damn it! Okay. I don't care for this at all. <laughs> no. Ah. Uh, no. 